Hey you guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back. So today's video is going to be about three very exciting foundation releases. I know they were exciting for me anyway, especially the Spy Beauty launch. I could not wait to see that they were going to come through with. And foundations, I was just like, yes. And then also the, this CoverGirl foundation, I feel like it kind of went under the radar. And then we have this new Milani, what is it even called? The Screen Queen Foundation. This came out, here it's luminous coverage. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's totally my jam. So I was very excited. But I have to say, one or two of the, no, you know what? One product really failed me. Not, oh, I hate to say fail. One product disappointed me. And I think you'll be surprised. I just feel like it did not live up to the hype. So we'll talk about that and just we'll talk, we'll go through each one of these foundations. But I'll go through my thoughts. I'll also include some wear tests. I did give, especially the bite foundations. I tested out the liquid foundation, the powder foundation, also the primer. I tested that for like three, four days straight. So I do feel like I have a good idea of my thoughts on these. And yeah, lots of thoughts to share with you guys. So we'll just go ahead and get started. First up, let's talk about this Milani foundation. I could not wait to get my hands on this. Milani is one of my most favorite drugstore brands. I love their blushes. They are just absolutely gorgeous. Their foundation, the Conceal and Perfect Foundation, I think is one of the most highest coverage foundations you can find at the drugstore. It's just so great. So I was so thrilled, just could not wait to see this, how this foundation performed. And I am just such a sucker for a dewy foundation. So when I saw they were releasing this luminous foundation, it was supposed to have a natural finish. I could not get my hands on this fast enough. So I picked up the shade 240 in Warm Vanilla. This is available in 45 shades. That's like huge, especially for the drugstore. This is supposed to have a luminous natural skin finish, a buildable light to medium coverage, and it's supposed to be a long wearing foundation. Now, let's just talk about the claims on this real fast as far as this whole blue light thing. First of all, I hate the name of this. Screen Queen? Like, are we supposed to be proud that we're on our cell phones all day and on computers? It's like glorifying the whole thing. That anybody else feel that way? I don't know. I was just kind of turned off by the name. Milani did not have to call it this. If you just said you're releasing this, call it like Dewey Queen or I don't know, Sheen Queen or something. Screen Queen? I don't know. That, I don't know why they just turned me off. So it says it's supposed to have this digital blue light filter technology to help protect skin from digital pollution. What the heck does that mean? Practically nothing. It's this big thing in skincare right now that, you know, these antioxidants are supposed to protect us from blue light. And maybe that's true when it comes to the sun because most of the blue light that we're exposed to is emitted from the sun. It's the visible, it's part of the visible light that we're exposed to, but it's very unlikely. There is some data out there to show that we may be exposed to some of it through, you know, digital screens, our computers, our phones, but highly unlikely that it's causing aging, any stress on our skin. And even if we are being exposed to this blue light from our digital screens, there's not really anything out there to truly protect us. I mean, they do have these covers on your phone you can buy, the glasses you can wear. And I know they're saying that I think it, you have to have a really high coverage mineral sunscreen, a physical sunblock to protect you from blue light. So Milani, I would love to know, what is this specific ingredient that we're talking about? Because when you look at the ingredients, it's your basic foundation, you know, it's made up of there's some nice humectants in here. There's emollients, you know, there's your silicones that are found in a lot of foundations. So this digital blue light filter, complete marketing gimmick. Don't buy into it. Show me the ingredient that is protecting us and maybe, maybe you would pull me in a little bit with this. But like I said, I would buy this if I knew it was just a dewy foundation from Milani. But you're trying to fool me here and I kind of, I don't know, it irks me a little bit. But with all this aside, I do really like this foundation. I know we started off on a bad note right there, but I... I do really like this. I love a luminous finish, and this has that perfect, like just enough luminous finish. Not too dewy, it has a nice sheen. It feels lightweight on the skin. Now I will say this can, if you don't have a, a decent primer on, if your skin isn't prepped, this can sink into pores. It can accentuate texture. So I find that this wears a lot better with a good powder, and we'll get to that good powder in a little bit here. And once this is set, it just looks so gorgeous and flawless. I just love it. And now I will say, you don't always, there was a couple days I wore this without powder I did find that when you first apply it, it kind of looks streaky you're like oh is this gonna am I gonna love this but let it dry down a little bit in between layers it's definitely buildable but you have to let it dry down and like I said it just makes your skin flawless it gives a pretty sheen to the face the perfect amount of coverage for a nice like everyday wear foundation I would say it has they say light to medium I would argue that it's medium you definitely can't build it to full but it does cover my melasma spots just enough where it you know it blurs out imperfections let's go to the check-in so you guys can see how it works today I tested the Milani foundation I did not wear a primer 
and I have to say I was super impressed with this up until like noon one o'clock I took my lunch break I went to the bathroom I'm like oh man this is really sinking into pores it's kind of starting to break up but before that I was loving just the coverage and the finish it just has has just enough coverage like not too much my melasma definitely showed through with it but I don't know I just felt like it made my skin look natural and nice satin finish so I was liking it and I think it's even a little bit more luminous than the Bite Beauty is. So loving the finish but like I said it's it was starting to sink into pores and fine lines. Now I will say I did try out the Drunk Elephant F-Bomb last night and I did not use a moisturizer on top of it. I feel like my skin is a little bit more dry. I, I find that that mask is definitely not for my dry skin. So tomorrow I'm going to try to really moisturize tonight and then also use a primer and we'll see how it holds up because I did notice that it did gather around my drier areas. So maybe that's the problem that my skin is just extra dry. But again, that finish of it is just really pretty. I was just bummed that it gathered so much and really started to settle into pores. Now, like I said, it definitely can sink into pores. So make sure your skin is just nice and prepped. You don't need a high-end primer or anything like that. Just a good moisturizer. It just needs a smooth canvas. And oh, once it sets, it just looks so nice and perfectly dewy on the skin. I love the finish of this. I find that it does not settle into lines, but I will say any luminous foundation can accentuate lines. I did notice I had powder a little bit more around my lips and then also on my forehead. So just keep that in mind. If your skin doesn't love powder, then I don't know, maybe you wouldn't like this, but I just find that once you have it set, it can be a little finicky, but once you have it set, I just... I love this. Definitely one of my new favorite drugstore foundations. It does not top my NYX Born to Glow, but it's, it's up there. All right, so next up, let's talk about the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Nourishing Foundation. I was so pumped when I saw this was released because I, I cannot get enough of the CoverGirl concealer. It's been a while since I've tried a CoverGirl foundation. And when I heard the ingredients on this, there's coconut milk, there's aloe extract. I'm like, oh, my interest peaked a little bit. Now, diving into the ingredients a little bit more, I will say further down on the list, there is denatured alcohol in here. But I do not find that this is drying on the skin, but just keep that in mind. If you have super dry skin, you might not get along with this. Now, I'm sure there's a purpose of that in here, maybe to help the dry down time a little bit because there is coconut oil in here, soybean oil, which soybean actually can help with brightening the skin, and sunflower seed oil in here. Love me some sunflower seed oil. So yeah, just keep that in mind. There's alcohol in here. But I will say I love the finish of this on my skin. It's so pretty. And I'm not usually a light coverage foundation kind of girl, but when I'm running out the door, I just want something to throw on my face real quick just to even out my my complexion a little bit and this does just that without enhancing any like texture I know I tried the NYX I think it's called the bear with me skin tint and I hated that it just clung to every dry patch just did not look great on my skin but this just enhances like the hydration in your skin it kind of kind of is counterintuitive with that denatured alcohol in here but Somehow this really does, it makes my skin feel good at the end of the day. It looks great. It looks healthy. So yeah, I was actually pleasantly surprised by this. So let's go to the check-in. All right, so funny story today. I tested out the CoverGirl Milk Foundation and my husband walks in the door. We just had a low-key day at home. I was at home with the girls and, you know, what did we do? It was 28 degrees out, so we didn't go outside. We did like three baths today. That's like our daily activity in the winter, I swear, just for something to do. But my husband walks in the door. I'm cooking dinner and he's like, he's looking at me, he's like, Oh, your makeup looks really good. I'm like, oh, really? Because first of all, I, I barely have any makeup on today except that foundation. And he's, he never compliments my makeup specifically. So now, of course, I'm digging for more descriptive words. I'm like, all right, now you got to tell me. I'm like, what, like, what about it? You got you to gotta give me some more. Give me some more here. So he's looking at my skin. He's like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Your skin just looks really good. So I'm like, all right, I'll take it. So per my husband's words, this foundation makes your skin look good. And I do really think, I feel like my skin looks hydrated and smooth and it just looks like I have, I'm having a good skin day. And didn't change anything up with my skincare last night. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. Of course the coverage, it's super light. It's just a good, for me, everyday foundation when I'm just running out the door. But the coverage never looks cakey or anything. It looks nice and smooth. It doesn't highlight any of my dry texture. And I actually, I've been using some salicylic acid around my nose. I've been, I've been getting some clogged pores. And I have some flakiness there and you can't see it at all. So if you're looking for a good everyday foundation for when you're running out the door, you don't want a lot of coverage, 
this is great and I love that you don't need a brush or a beauty blender with this a special sponge it goes on great with your fingers I'm not usually a finger kind of person when it comes to applying my foundation but this really goes on really great with your fingertips it blends in really nicely and I think that's why I was pleasantly surprised by this I tried this on a whim one day and I just like threw it on my face and I'm like oh my gosh that actually applied really nicely I wasn't expecting much but I caught myself like looking in the mirror all day I really like this I think this is another great buy at the drugstore bummer about the alcohol but I'm sure there's always a reason for it I know everybody complains about denatured alcohol I hate to see it high up an ingredient list but if it's a lower down like that probably isn't here to help the dry down time and I will say there is a tacky finish to this that hangs around for a good maybe like two hours I felt myself kind of touching my face for a while like it was kind of sticky I'm like eh, I might not like this but then it does dry down so maybe that's what that's in here for but yeah I don't know I just like the dewy finish of this I like the nice sheen the perfectly the perfect amount of sheen all right then last but not least the by beauty complexion products I was so excited when these were released. I am just such a fan of their lip products. I mean, who doesn't know and love their Amuse Bouche lipsticks? I'm so upset that they're discontinued, but they're apparently coming back with new and improved, maybe, I think, I think bullet lipsticks. We have yet to see the bullet lipsticks, but I think they're coming out. The shade Meringue is up there in like my top five favorite lipstick shades and formulas. It's just the most perfect everyday wearable pink. I have two in my collection. I just love their lip products so much. I could not wait to see how their complexion products were going to perform. So with that said, I picked up the Changemaker Skin Optimizing Primer. I actually ended up getting the normal to oily version. I have dry skin. I don't know what I was thinking. I must have clicked the wrong thing by accident. I was going to return this right away but then when I tried it I'm like wow this is actually working for me so we'll talk about that in a sec but then I also got the change maker foundation I got the shade L40 and then the flexible coverage press powder in the shade light 2 okay so let's first talk about the primer the primer has a nice silicone feel but I appreciate that it doesn't feel like a strong silicone really slippery primer that's going to clog up my pores it actually feels very lotion like and it doesn't give my skin that like matte like suck the life, suck all the hydration out of my skin and kind of finish, being that it's for normal to oily skin. I actually really like the finish of this. It fills my pores, it allows for a nice smooth canvas on my skin, it's not too slippery, it doesn't make your foundation too dewy. It just gives your skin this perfect smooth surface. Now as far as ingredients go, besides the fragrance, there's actually some pretty decent things in here. A base of dimethicone in here, also prop propendial, which is a nice emollient, it makes your skin nice and smooth, it moisturizes the skin, it gives a product like it's emollient, there's shea butter in here I love me some shea butter on my dry skin so I do appreciate like I said the nice silky consistency there's also allantoin in here allantoin shows up in a lot of Korean skincare products it's supposed to be really calming on the skin and really soothing and let's see what else hyaluronic acids in here this is definitely gonna be my new primer for when I'm wearing you know a nice dewy foundation where I want the foundation to cling I want a smooth canvas it works great with the Milani screen queen foundation I just I really like it it's not too mattifying I I did not expect to love this especially when I saw that I got the oily skin version I'm like oh my gosh crap what I must have been having baby brain that day but yeah I've really been loving this all right so now let's get to the foundation so this change maker supercharged my cellar foundation this is supposed to be a clean long wearing foundation with gentle micellar technology that mimics skin's texture for a natural flawless finish it's supposed to be medium coverage for normal dry combination or oily skin. It comes in this nice squeezy tube. I, I do appreciate the squeezy tube, I will say. I do like a pump every so often, but I don't know, this was a, a nice little change here. Now let's talk again about these marking claims, just, just like this Milani screen queen blue light technology thing. My cellar foundation, it means nothing. So we know my cellar water, my cellar is a essentially a surfactant a cleanser on the skin it emulsifies oil it breaks up our makeup on our skin so I'm not sure why we need that in our foundation it sounds like bite beauty's response is that it's supposed to you know being the fact that they're touting this you know natural skin finish it's supposed to remind people that it truly is like skincare it looks like your skin and then there's fragrance in here. Now, I'm not going to sit here and be a hypocrite. I have my Tarte Shape Tape has fragrance. My Catrice Concealer has fragrance. It Cosmetic CC Cream has fragrance. There's so many foundations I use and love that have fragrance in them. But they put out there that this is a clean foundation. Now, clean can mean anything to so many different people. It doesn't, there's no definitive 
there's no definition for it. To me, a clean product means something that has a short ingredient list, there's no fragrance in there, it's just the essentials. You know, you're getting the good active ingredients and that's it. Not a bunch of like extra things, no essential oils, none of that. Yeah, the whole clean thing is confusing and this micellar word is a little confusing. Again, with the marketing gimmicks and the marketing hype. Now, with all that said, I do like this foundation, but I don't think it's worth the hype. I don't think it's worth the $40. It's a nice medium coverage. It does give a nice natural finish. It looks like your skin, but I do wish it was a little bit more dewy. I, I said at the beginning, I don't like an intense, dewy, sweaty finish. I don't want a greasy finish. But even with this foundation, I didn't get as much luminosity as I normally like. I wanted it to look like I spent a ton of time on my skincare the night before. I moisturized my skin. My skin was hydrated. And it just, my skin looks okay with this on. It looks nice. It evens out texture and it's smooth skin. But I have so many other drugstore foundations that I love even better than this. Enter the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. So this has sunflower seed oil in here. There's hyaluronic acid. There's no fragrance. It looks like your skin. You get nice medium coverage. It has this nice glass bottle with this cool doe foot applicator. And this is like eight bucks. I hope they're not discontinuing this. I randomly heard that recently. I'm very nervous that that's happening. But I just feel like there's better options out there than this guy. It's nice, but I just was underwhelmed. Ugh. Man, I'm just bummed I spent 40 bucks on this. I think that's my whole thing. Let me know if you guys have tried this. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're bummed about the fragrance. Yeah. Now, we'll end on a positive note here. So I'll insert the clip of the wear test of this foundation, and you'll see without the powder, I was kind of underwhelmed, but when I applied the powder, I liked it even that much more. So I'll insert that now, and then we'll talk about the powder. I do feel like it held up pretty well. It does fade. The coverage does not stick around, but I still feel like the finish looks so pretty. It looks like your skin, a nice natural finish, but do you see, you can obviously see my sunspot. You can see the redness in between, like on the inner corners of my cheeks, and even on the tip of my nose. It doesn't look cakey, except, let me bring you in a little bit closer. Do you see in the inner corner of my eye, it broke up a little bit. I didn't put concealer on today, I just brought the foundation up to see how it wore. And then my lines, I do find that this does accentuate lines. I always say I don't have an 11, I have like a backwards L in between my eyes. I do find that that's accentuated. Also my lines are over here. So maybe not the best of lines. The coverage looks exactly the same from the primer side to the side without the primer, but I do feel like my face is a little bit more smooth on the primer side. I worked a 12 hour day. I left the house at like six, so that's when I put on my foundation and it is like 9.30ish. Foundation's been on my face for well over 12 hours. We're into like the 14th, 15th hour right now. Today I use the powder and I think it looks so much better. I just feel like it helps the overall smoothness of my skin. I felt like the foundation didn't break it up as much as it did yesterday with just the primer. And yeah, I just feel like my complexion looks really good. I feel like my skin looks healthy. I have a little bit of shine poking through. Overall, most of the day it was like a satin finish, but I did, yeah, some oiliness popped up, but just enough, like not too much where I was like overtly oily or greasy and I like luminous finish. So I really am impressed today with how this held up. And you know, today was even longer than yesterday and it was in the hospital, which is dry as anything. The heat's on, the air's always super dry there. So I'm very, very impressed. I already put on the Bite Beauty foundation this morning. It's only been on about three hours and I'm already noticing the coverage starting to fade. You can see some redness popping through like around my nose. You can see my melasma and yeah, I just feel like, I don't know, it doesn't look the best today. So I just wanted to show you guys the magic of this powder. I'll use my Blendiful today with the powder. I'll have a full review of this to come, but initial thoughts on it, I'm loving it with powder, foundation. I don't know, I might stick to a sponge, but we'll see. I haven't gotten a chance to use it that much, but I do really like it with powder so far. Okay, so like I said, this is the light number two shade. I just want to show you guys the coverage this gives. So how I like to use this, I like to pat it in and then kind of smooth it out. Right, hopefully that lighting is a little better. Sometimes I feel like the brighter the lights, the more filtered your skin looked, so that's why I started off dark, but I think that looks a little better. But I just wanted to show you the side of my face with the powder as compared to without. You can see that where I have the foundation, the Bite Beauty foundation, it looks a little bit more textured. I already have, you know, my melasma poking through, my redness poking through, but with the powdered side, my skin looks really smooth, my pores look smooth, and yeah, I, I even got some extra coverage there. You can see 
when you pat it over those darker spots you do get some more coverage and I just love that flawless look it's matte but not completely matte it doesn't make your skin look dull just like fresh and I don't know healthy looking I really like it but yeah I'm not impressed with that foundation side so hopefully that clip portrayed the beauty of this powder. I am just obsessed. I love this. It's my new go-to powder. I have really not given a new powder a shot since, I mean, the Hourglass powders have been my go-to. I love them so much. There's something about that finish. So gorgeous. But I've always craved a little bit of coverage from them. And this actually gives you a little bit more coverage on top of foundation. It smooths everything out. It just makes your foundation kind of meld together. And I just felt like it just it smooths out texture so well. It doesn't make my skin look extra dry. I will say though, on bare skin, do not use this as a regular foundation. It's just, it clings to every dry spot, every textured area. I imagine if you would have a blemish, it would cling to a blemish. It's just not the greatest on bare skin. But in the actual directions, it tells you to use over a foundation. Of course, they tell you to use over the micellar foundation. But any foundation this works well with, I'm super impressed. I'm wearing it today, and I feel like it's over the Milani foundation. And I just feel like the two together look so pretty. Very impressed that this doesn't enhance dryness on my skin. That was the biggest thing. And even underneath my eyes, it doesn't, I mean, it's going to, yeah, it does enhance the creases a little bit, but any powder will do that. But I love how this mattifies, but still allows your skin, it still looks like your skin. And it doesn't look super powdery. Loving this so much. All right, so in conclusion, this Milani foundation. I loved the luminous finish of this. It's such a pretty sheen on the skin. Looks nice and natural. I will say it's a little finicky. You have to make sure you have a nice smooth canvas. Make sure your skin's prepped. And you do have to let it set, whether that's with a powder or just let it set in between building it. It looks gorgeous. Nice, gorgeous. I just love the sheen to it. I'm all about a dewy finish that doesn't look too greasy. And this is it. Nice and natural. Loving this. The CoverGirl foundation, pleasantly surprised by the Skin Milk Nourishing Foundation, looks really pretty. If you're okay with that initial tacky finish when this settles, it just is such a pretty running out the door foundation. Call it like a BB cream. It's nice natural like coverage, but still makes your skin look like you're having a good skin day. It's really nice on the skin. Now the bite products. Love, love, love this powder. This is such a smoothing powder. It doesn't accentuate dryness. If you already have foundation on, you definitely have to use it as a finishing powder. On its own, it will accentuate every dry patch. But over powder, so smoothing, smooths out texture. It makes your foundation last. I love this. It even adds coverage on top of foundation. I'm obsessed. Love this. And then the foundation. Unfortunately, completely underwhelmed by this. It's a nice medium coverage foundation. I was hoping for a little bit more dew though. I wanted more of like that healthy glow and it was just kind of blot to me on the skin. It looks like the skin, but nothing I couldn't get from a drugstore foundation. Even the NYX BB cream looks even better than this, I think. And then the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation is it's such a gorgeous finish. You get a nice medium coverage and even a little bit more like of that dewy finish. So yeah, this was underwhelming to me not worth the hype the ingredients i know that threw a lot of people off too so yeah just underwhelmed by the foundation i did really like the primer the primer i was pleasantly surprised by nice and smoothing not too mattifying i told you guys earlier that i picked up the mattifying by accident and i actually really like this it was more moisturizing than i thought and it gives for it allows for a nice smooth canvas like this. Right, so there's my final thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know, are you guys planning to pick up any of these foundations? Are, what do you think about the Bite Foundation? Are you excited about it? Did you pick it up? What do you think? And yeah, also these marketing gimmicks. Do they pull you in this whole blue light technology, the micellar thing, or does it make you kind of mad and irritated like it does me? I don't know why that stuff gets to me. But yeah, just back it up with some research for me. Let me know why this is going to work. I don't know. That's just my thoughts. But let me know what you guys think. I love hearing from you guys in the comments. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon.